throughout the Advent season and now on Christmas Eve, we have had a sermon series that has been entitled Walking Together in the Light of God. Please receive this for tonight. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of each one of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our salvation. Amen. Sally had never heard her parents talk like this before, but for days she kept hearing her mom and dad talk about Charlie coming to town. Apparently, Charlie was huge and filled with fury, and wherever he went, he just destroyed things. He was big enough that he could knock down trees and houses and schools. When Charlie arrives, her parents said, we are all going to hide so he doesn't destroy us. Now, Charlie was fierce, Charlie was mean, Charlie was scary. Charlie was a hurricane. So Sally didn't know what a hurricane was. All she knew about was Charlie. At night, Sally went to bed and asked God to stop Charlie, to make him go away, and to change him so that he would be nice. She would keep her flashlight on in bed, hoping that Charlie wouldn't come that night. In spite of all her prayers, Charlie came to town late one night. He was as bad as everyone said he would be, and maybe worse. Although she was brave, Sally's flashlight had burned out, and she faced Charlie alone in the darkness. Her parents kept telling her stories, they kept singing her hymns, they kept singing her favorite songs, but she was scared. Alone in the darkness, Sally prayed for the bright morning light to come, and finally, the sun did rise on a new day. Charlie passed by, and Sally saw the path of his destruction. He had taken so much from so many, and no power meant nights of darkness. Sally never forgot that fright of the first night in the darkness the darkest night of all, the night of Charlie's destruction. Remembering Charlie, Sally was determined to help others who were afraid of the dark. On Christmas Eve, she went to church, determined to help a friend for Christmas. When she went into the sanctuary, she placed a lit flashlight in the manger, right next to baby Jesus. And there it stood, all night long for all to see. She whispered to baby Jesus, welcome to the world, baby Jesus. Charlie scared me, but I'm not going to let him scare you. This light will keep you safe tonight. Like Sally, when children are asked what they most want in the middle of terrible storms, in the midst of war, in the challenging nights of their lives, they say they want a flashlight to push back the darkness that closes in around them. Tonight, in Ukraine, Polish Dominican sisters are lighting candles and flashlights for the children facing yet another night in the dark with no power and no heat. As they sing Silent Night tonight, they all push back the darkness of war. All across Ukraine, people are lighting candles tonight to push back the darkness. And there's a flashlight in the manger somewhere to keep baby Jesus safe tonight. Tonight in South Sudan, children are caught in the crossfire of a civil war. Doctors Without Borders are there. They're offering them light in the darkness, medical care, fresh water, and food. And we pray that someone has placed a flashlight in the manger to welcome the new Lord Jesus. Tonight in Columbus, Ohio, children and parents are gathered together on this cold winter night in the YWCA family shelter in warming centers across our city to receive a blessing, a gift, a meal, a kind word of love. They will hear the Christmas story one more time, and there 
in somebody's manger. We hope they have welcomed Jesus. They will be here in the morning because the light that has brought them will bring them back to Bethlehem on Broad Street. In Sally, in the sisters, in the doctors, in the people in our shelters, we come to witness tonight the power of one. One person, one group, one volunteer, one friend can turn a life around in the darkest night. In the newborn Jesus, the power of one holds each of our hearts and binds us together tonight. In the spirit of Jesus, of Sally, of the Dominican sisters in Ukraine, of Doctors Without Borders in South Sudan, of volunteers and staff in the homeless family shelter and warming centers in our city tonight. I pray that our flashlights will keep the manger lit, keep the light of Christ alive in us, and help the children to feel protected and safe so that he can come to find comfort in our joy tonight. So let us put a flashlight in the manger as well. May we all feel the warmth and love of the newborn Christ tonight. May we make it through the night so that we see a bright morning hope come blowing through the window in the morning. Amen.